नमस्ते दोस्तों आप सबका स्वागत है आज हम सैम्पलिंग के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने वाले हैं तो आइए देख लेते हैं कि इस क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछा गया है सो वी आर गिवन टू आई आई टी एक्सपोनशियल रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एक्स एंड वाई विथ पैरामीटर वन नाउ वी आर टू डिफाइंड डब्ल्यू एंड यू वेर डब्ल्यू इज एक्स प्लस वाई एंड यू इज एक्स बाई एक्स प्लस वाई नाउ वी आर टू फाइंड वेदर इट इज गिवन ऑप्शन वी आर टू फाइंड विच ऑफ दिस गिवन ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एक्स एंड वाइज आर आई आई डी एक्सपोनशियल विथ पैरामीटर वन डेयर फॉर वी कैन से दैट द जॉइंट डेंसिटी of x and y is nothing but e to the power minus x plus y where x is less than y so 0 to infinity now consider the transformation consider the transformation x y to u w where w is x plus y and u is x by x plus y so from this we can say that x is u w and y is w into 1 minus u now as x is positive y is positive we can say that w is positive and u is fraction so the jacobian of the transformation is jacobian x comma y divided by u comma w which is nothing but del x del u del x del w del y del u and del y del w so we get w u minus w or 1 minus u Hence, W into one minus U plus U W, and this is nothing but W. Now, as W is greater than zero, therefore Jacobian mod Jacobian is W. So the joint density of f of U and W is. e to the power minus w into w where u is in between 0 to 1 and w is strictly positive so first of all we evaluate the marginal uh, the marginal density of u and how can we get this we just integrate f of u w uh in the range of w or with respect to w now w is strictly positive so the range is 0 to infinity now here we get w to the power 2 minus 1 e to the power minus w dw therefore this is nothing but a gamma distribution so it is gamma 2 and that means it is 1 and the range of u is 0 to 1 and now we have to find f of w so here we just integrate the joint density with respect to u and the range of u is 0 to 1 so we get w into e to the power minus w that w is strictly positive so we can write f of u w that means the joint density 
as the multiplication of the marginal densities therefore u and w are independent so option 3 is already correct now f of u is equals to 1 whenever u is 0 to 1 that means u follows uniform 0 to 1 therefore expectation of u is half so option 1 is also correct and option 2 is also correct but option 4 is not correct because here we are given that w u are uncorrelated but dependent and that is not true and so only 1 2 and 3 are correct options okay so we have successfully solved this question and that's all so thank you very much